Hello everybody, it's Joe here, and welcome to another episode of Fern Bus Coach Simulator. Today we are going to be having a look at the Vienna, and uh, not just the Vienna, but the Austria and Switzerland DLC. We're going to be travelling here from Salzburg down to Linz St. Pölten, or St. Pölten, uh, through to Vienna, and then in the next video we're going to come back via Graz in the south to Salzburg. Don't know if that's how you pronounce it correctly, uh, but uh, it's how I am pronouncing it. Now, uh, again, we are going to have to look down here at Zurich, Bern and Geneva, because that's another section of map that you get. It is the Switzerland slash Austria DLC. It does contain both of them. Now, uh, a massive, massive shout out to uh, a chap called Bartes the Man, who, uh, who actually sent me a donation uh, of real English GBP. Uh, to purchase this, uh, you know, this this DLC, uh, a massive, you know, I'm so, so grateful for that. It really does help me. I mean, money does not sadly grow on trees, and uh, I can only, oh, hang on, we'll, uh, we'll just set this, is this right now? Yeah, are we, are we all good? Yep. We'll just set that to the, to an acceptable temperature of 21. Yeah, unfortunately, money doesn't grow on trees, and uh, I do the best I can with the channel. Uh, you know, but for some DLCs I just simply don't have the money to do it. So uh, yeah, thank you so much to him, uh, or her, I'm assuming with the name Bartes the Man, uh, that it would be a he, as, as it has the word man in it. Um, but you can, you, you're never too sure these days, are you? So, uh, so yes, thank you so much for that. If you do want to, uh, or if you do feel you wish to donate, I'm always more than grateful. Uh, there is a link to a PayPal in the description. I just drop that in there, but yeah, really, really appreciate it. And uh, and I thought that we'd look at that today uh, with this absolutely gorgeous. I forgot to look at the coach. Forgot to look at the coach. Uh, so we shall. When I pull up, uh, we shall have a look at the coach and what livery we're in. I mean, you've you've seen it already. It's Eurolines, but it looks spectacular. You can get this repaint on at the Steam Workshop, providing you've got the Manline City third generation DLC. Right, there we go. Pull up there, we'll indicate, get you on board. I mean, look at that, that the Eurolines livery. Oh, I'm about to get run over. We are on the Route 68 to Vienna. Why is it the Route 68? I don't know. Why not? Pick a random number. It, it really is an absolutely stunning piece of, uh, you know, design, that livery. I quite like the black as well at the back. Uh, there is an option to have the black at the back, or you can have that white. Um, but yeah, really, really nice, uh, nice bit of work there. Again, you can download that livery through the Steam Workshop. Right, you're going to Vienna, my darling. Right, yes, Wein. Or Wien. Okie dokie, yep, yeah, get them all checked in. St. Poulton, yeah, we're going there, aren't we? Oh, why are there so many people? Ridiculous, isn't it? This many people. Uh, the journey time's about five and a half hours. Five and a half game hours, of course. Not uh, not five and a half real hours. Christ, I'm not uh, I'm not going to be boring you with uh, with my voice for that long. Come on, check in. Where are you going? Sorry, I appear to be staring staring at your midriff. I should really look at you in the face, shouldn't I, when I'm speaking to you? Right, there we go. Everybody on. Yeah, no passengers lurking about. BD, the uh, that well-known rail operator in Germany and Switzerland, and I'm assuming that BD go to Austria. Well, nah, we'll see. Right, so coaches there, all looking spectacular. I've got my Flixbus uniform on, uh, which I perhaps shouldn't be wearing given that I'm uh, I'm driving a Eurolines coach, but never mind. So. First stop on the agenda today is Linz. Apparently, the scenery on this DLC is absolutely spectacular. Uh, that's what I've been told. So, uh, yeah, let's check it out. I think that Salzburg actually comes as part of the DLC, to be honest with you. Just looking at the, the town slash city and how it's done, uh, it does seem a lot less generic than a lot of the, uh, the towns that came with the game. You do find that a lot of the DLCs, you know, like this roundabout in the middle is absolutely gorgeous. You tend to find that with, um, you know, with a lot of the DLCs, 
um, they have a lot less generic, a lot more bespoke. Um, so yeah, I think Salzburg comes with it, but we shall see. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest with you. I didn't check the map before I added the DLC on, uh, which is uh, rather unprofessional of me. Come on then, off we go. Oh, hang on, way. I didn't see you indicating there, Mr. Taxi. My apologies. I wonder if we get a new livery for the police car. That that seems to be like the uh, the thing, doesn't it? You uh, you get a new livery for the police car whenever you do uh, different DLCs. I must apologise. I've just noticed that my uh, my eye telephone is on one percent battery. Can't be doing with that, can we? Get it plugged in. To, uh, to the USB charging sockets which we have here on the Manlines Coach 3rd generation. I think, you know, this coach has to be my favourite one to drive on the game. I did think that it was the Cetra Comfort class, you know. We should probably have looked there, shouldn't we? Look at those mountains, they're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I, I thought that the Comfort Class was my favourite DLC, but do you know what? I think it might be this one. This might just be beating it to the post. I mean, I, I didn't like the fact that it was the Manline City, and you know, a lot of the sounds are very similar to the Manline City that came with the game, but to drive, I do think that this is much nicer. Way straight up car. This is a hill and a half. I don't know if we're going to get up here. Up to the floor. Is he doing it? Just about. Oh, a couple of cows by the side there. I don't know if they move, they're probably just static. Be nice if they moved, wouldn't it? I think, to be honest with you, the route I've chosen is probably one of the most boring out of all of them. I've noticed that there are quite a few windy roads on this. Uh, this Austria slash Switzerland DLC, and I've literally picked the route that is a motorway the whole way. Um, so yeah, apologies for that, but we will. Oh, look at that. Look at that lake. With all the mountains around. Oh, it's beautiful. It does remind me, and I know that we're in the Austria section of the DLC, but it does remind me of when, uh, when I went to Switzerland with my late friend. He sadly passed away now, bless him. Uh, but... Yeah, we, we went and stayed round Interlaken. We stayed at Interlaken at the Alpina Hotel. Very, very nice, uh, very, very nice hotel. Um, Dora, the lovely lady that owns it. Yeah, if you're ever in Interlaken, I do recommend the Alpina. It's a family-run hotel. Very nice indeed. We don't need to turn out, do we? Yeah, of course we do. We'll overtake this uh, Land Rover. I know we're speeding a little bit, but what the hey? What's five kilometres an hour between friends? Um, but yeah, we stayed at Interlaken and we went all round uh, Grindelwald and all round uh, Lauterbrunnen. Very nice indeed, very nice. Gorgeous piece of the world, really is. It just kind of reminds me of that. I, I've never been to Austria. Never been to Austria. I keep meaning to. Uh, Salzburg is, of course, somewhere that... Uh, and before you say, I, I am aware that Salzburg is in Austria. When I said... Uh, I didn't know whether this came as part of the Austria DLC. I didn't know maybe if the original firm bus included Salzburg, even though it's in uh, in Austria. But and now I'm saying that I'm beginning to doubt the fact that it is in Austria. Maybe someone's going to comment. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's definitely in Austria, Joe. Uh, actually, it's not. It's in Germany. You idiot. Um, but yeah, so I I believe it's in Austria. I'm pretty sure it is anyway. But um. But yeah, I know that Austria has you know a lot of beautiful scenery as well. I do need to go at some point. I do believe it's where the Sound of Music was set. Um, I know one of my friends, he kind of bangs on about the Sound of Music. No, oh, we need to go to Salzburg. Oh, do we really? Um, yes, yes. I mean, to be honest, if I went to Salzburg, I'd literally be there for the trams. I believe there are trams in Salzburg. The, the trams, the buses, if there's trolley buses, I, the Sound of Music, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not interested. Um, I mean, I appreciate it's, you know, it's a bit of history and, you know, it's, it's a very nice film and they've done musicals on it and, you know, who'd have thought? Sound of music and musical. Hmm. Um, but yeah, for me, it's all about the transport. So yeah, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I will go one day. Maybe I will.
I do have it set to dynamic weather, but uh, it doesn't appear that the weather has been particularly dynamic. I mean, we're on the career mode on Fernbus, and I've driven down from... Where did I drive down from now? Um, let's have a look on the map. Because, yeah, you have to obviously go to the places where you want to start. So I had to drive from Würzburg down to Ausberg, Munich, and then Salzburg. Um, and it was literally this weather the whole time. So I don't know if the dynamic weather's meant to actually, you know, just randomly change. Kind of give you something... I don't imagine it's real world weather. Uh, if it is, then, uh, God, how I wish I was in Austria right now. Because it's pretty miserable over in Cheshire. the old mirrors. Yeah, I, I love that sky. It's it's very um, it's very flight sim, isn't it? You know, when you take off and you've just got this clear sky, but you can see that like there's kind of the there's kind of it's not the blue all the way. It's kind of got the white. It fades to white. I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. And when you go up on a real plane and you see that sky, you're just like, wow. You know, it's it's absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? Oh, hang on, We've, we're going at 100 kilometres an hour, we'll, we'll just stay around that corner. It's, see the thing with Fernbus, it's always, it's never going to be OMSI with the physics, is it? I mean, I think it's head and shoulders above OMSI with the graphics, but it just needs to catch up in, in terms of the physics, and I, I don't think that we'll ever get there um, with Fernbus, because, I mean, it's been out since 2016, and it's been like this for a good many years now, hasn't it? I mean, it's been out five years. Um... Yeah, I, I don't think that Fernbus will ever get that. I think, you know, that I'd love to say it would, but I don't think it will. But it doesn't mean to say it's not an enjoyable game. I mean, it is very Euro Truck, but with buses, obviously, isn't it? We appear to have come out of the uh, out of the mountainous region. We appear to just be in hills now. Oh no, there's a couple of mountains over there to our right. That's very flat. That must be Germany over there. Not that Germany is very flat, but you know what I mean. It's it's not as hilly. Bloody hell, he's shifting, isn't he, in the Audi TT? Not hanging about at all. And this is a nice yellow livery. I think that that came with the Taurus bus sim, didn't it? They, uh, they did an update so that all the Taurus bus liveries now appear in, uh, in firm bus, which is quite nice. I've not played Taurus bus simulator in a while, have I? I got kind of bored with it. I mean, it's a good game, I just kind of... You don't seem to have the same... You know, there's a lot more to keep you occupied with Fernbus. Oh, there he goes. Come on. Yeah, you foot down, Mr. Lexus. This is Linz. It's uh, the, the trees at the side of the road make it look almost tropical. I know they're not tropical trees, are they? But they, they kind of look a bit like palm trees. I can't be the only one seeing that, surely. Um, 
yeah, it looks it looks very tropical. I like the fact it must be bin decks. All the recycling bins are on the uh, on the curb, aren't they? It's actually bin day where we are now. So any minute now, you'll probably hear the crashing of uh, of the bin men outside. Oh, come on, you can tell you're not in a rush. Dolly Daydreamer, get your foot down. We've got somewhere to be. I don't understand the timings on this game. It's 11.46 now. It says I'm not actually due to arrive into Linz for another 40 minutes, nearly. I've not been driving particularly fast, I've just been driving at the speed limit. How slow do they think you're going? Oh, nice bit of cobbles. What's that? Yeah, mit Thymian komm drauf, klar. Fassbrauchs. Mit Thymian kom drauf klar. Does that mean that their thyroid is very clear? Goodness only knows. I imagine it's quite good to have a clear thyroid. Goodness only knows what that means. We'll go with uh, that, that orange juice gives you a clear thyroid. Right, we are in Linz. Let's get the handbrake on. Doors open. I can't remember if anyone was getting off here, they probably were. Come on then, chop chop, on you get. We haven't got time, we're, we're 40 minutes early. And we want to go to St. Poulton. Oh well, we can, we can take you there. There we go, check you in. Come on, surprise, he's behind you. Right. Are we all here? Present and correct. Good. Right. Luggage off. Yeah, everyone's here. Oh, I do love that yoga line slippery. I'd get a picture, but it's in the shed, isn't it? It kind of doesn't do it justice. Right. To business. Take the handbrake off, Joe. That always helps. I do love as well the fact that you get the force feedback through your steering wheel. If you've not got a steering wheel and you do play these games, you just go out and get a steering wheel. I use the Thrustmaster T300. I think that's what I use. A Thrustmaster T something or other, the, the most recent one. Maybe T500, I can't remember. I couldn't tell you. I probably could tell you, uh, but yeah. Logitech G920, I also had one of them. I think they brought out the G930 now, but uh, yeah, it's certainly, certainly worth looking into. Either Logitech or Thrustmaster wheels, you really can't go wrong, so long as you're getting a 900 degree one. Uh, you don't want any of this 180 degree nonsense. I, uh, since our last firm bus antics, I have turned the traffic, the AI traffic, down considerably. Can you, Im can you imagine? Can you remember? When, uh, when we used to keep getting stuck in city centres because there was just that much traffic. Oh, a couple of buses parked in a multi-storey car park there. Way. Oh, nearly doing a handbrake turn there. And we are speeding. I hadn't realised we were speeding, but uh, yeah. Game over. Oh dear, should hope the game is not over. Oh, Tesla. Electronique. I wouldn't have thought that they were able to use real brandings. Hmm. Maybe they can. I know they do on, um, they do on the bus. I didn't realise they did on firm bus. They tend to, uh, oh hang on, I need to be in this lane and that car's in this lane. Right, I'm going to have to break, aren't I? There we go. Cheers for letting me out, chum. Yeah, I didn't realise. They always kind of use pretend brandings. 
God, look at this. This junction's just gorgeous. I would quite like to kind of try and get a, a little, a, a snapshot. Oh dear. Oh no, that's not gone well. Ah! Oh no. Oh dear me. Right. Okay, that's, uh, yeah. Let's not take photos <laughs> until we're on a, uh, <laughs> until we're on a straight section of road. That's looking better. Let's take a picture now. That'll do. Right. That's better. Dear me, I was hoping for like a video where I didn't crash. That's why you shouldn't be on your mobile phone. I mean, I wasn't on my mobile phone, but you know, it's that sort of distraction. Shouldn't be on your mobile phone while driving. No, 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 no. Things like that will happen. Dear, dear me. No, hang on, we're speeding. Since when did it go to 80? I didn't see a sign. Oh well. Sixty? You having a laugh? Or is it just an advisory? Um, oh no, it's definitely a, it's a full on. No, oh, are you just you're just cutting in front of me, Mr. Mercedes? No, no, that's fine. I'm I'm not bothered. I mean, to be fair, you're speeding because I'm doing sixty. I'm not. I'm doing fifty-nine. Right. Let's. Uh, there we go. We'll do sixty-one. It really is a gorgeous bit of scenery. I do think the fields on the on the hills are a little bit odd. I mean, I, I don't doubt the fact that there are probably fields on hills in Austria. You know, there's fields on hills in England. Um, they just look a little bit odd. A little bit perfect, maybe. Oh, hang on, we, we can go to 100 now. I don't know where these roadside signs were. I didn't see any. Maybe in Austria you just kind of expected to know it. If the grass is this shade of green, you can do 100 kilometers an hour. If it's kind of an off yellow, you can only do 80. Mm, more cows in fields. They're all stood up, so at least it's not going to rain. That would be excellent if they coded it so when it rains they're all lined down. I don't for one minute think that they have, but uh, it would be a nice little feature. It would make me pleased. I also, I've said it time and time again, I wish they would add the DLC coaches to the AI. So you could see, because I mean, at the minute, yeah, it's nice we've got a few liveries that are driving around. But it would be nice if they added the DLC coaches so we could actually see them. I mean, look at... Also, see them at bus stations. You see them just parked up, but they never move. It's only ever on the motorway that you see the, the uh, you know, the coaches. I just think it's such a shame, and it, it kind of t diminishes from the realism aspect. Should we, should we move over? Check mirrors, like, when you're halfway across in the lane. Yeah, that's... Manoeuvre signal mirror that's a bit it's not mirror signal maneuver it's maneuver signal mirror yeah that's how we do things on this channel oh and the windmills are even turning i know they're not windmills the wind turbines but 
I always, uh, I always say to my other half, oh look, the windmills, and I get a glare. Do you mean wind turbines? Windmills meant flower, you idiot. I'm like, no, no, I definitely mean windmills. It's that sort of love-hate relationship. I love him, he hates me. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an excellent combination. I like it when you're going ever so slightly faster than everyone else and you're just slowly overtaking. Not speeding, just slowly overtaking them. Although you can guarantee I've got a BMW sat behind me flashing his headlights. Move over. Come on, one last push up this hill. Pull in now. Is there anyone behind me? No, there's not. That's uh, whoops. Hang on. Bit of uh, bit of oversteer there. Way. Down the house fart to uh, Saint Paulson. pull into this lane. I imagine that this lane's probably going to disappear in true firm bus fashion. Like, oh yes, drive in this lane, and then all of a sudden it, it just, oh yeah, by the way, that lane's gone. Yeah, oh yeah, thank you, firm bus. We'll, uh, we'll plump for this lane, because it looks from the map like that right-hand lane is in fact going to disappear like I, uh, like I suspected. Come on. Oh, go on then, I'll let you in. Uh, excuse me. We don't undertake and then cut in, Mr. VW Crafter. First impressions of St. Paulton are not very good. Idiots in VW vans. So you've cut in and now you're driving not at the speed limit. Right, that's enough aggressive driving now, Joe. Oh, I love a good roundabout. You know what I'm like with roundabouts. Oof. Look at that, that's absolutely beautiful as roundabouts go. Very nice. Doesn't quite have the same flower arrangement that we had in uh, Salzburg. But still, nevertheless, a very satisfying roundabout to drive around. Wrong pedal. <laughs> oh dear. That's something that old people do. I meant to put my foot on the brake pedal and accidentally put my foot flat out on the uh, the acceleration pedal. The acceleration pedal. The uh, the accelerator. But someone spilled the coffee. Sorry about that. Have a voucher towards a new T-shirt. Right, let's have a look. Can we get a nice shot of it at St. Paulton? Oh, very nice. I'm about to get run over by a truck. Yeah, 
Any of you? Do any of you want to? Oh, you want the luggage rack, aren't they? There we go. Right, Vienna. Well, there's a fair few waiting here, isn't there? It's popular to Vienna. You ought to go to Vine there. Or Wien. I wonder if we'll see trams. Who's we'll see me driving on trams then. Nope. Not you, my dear. We're just going to Vienna. There we go. Hello. Yep. To Vienna. I wonder if... I've never had a full bus on this game. We're all good. Yeah, everybody's happy. Oh, hang on. I hope they're not beeping at me. There we go. Nice picture. Nice picture. Oh, the, the, it just looks stunning on this livery, doesn't it? On this coach. Right. Side shut. Doors are shut. Off we go. Oh, I forgot to check, actually. Not full. Fair few on, but not full. Right, off we go again. That's a bit unprofessional. Ooh, another roundabout. Love it. Possibly a little bit wide. Possibly not wide enough. Who knows? So now we're on the home stretch. Oh, another roundabout. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Dead bushes in the middle there, just to really add to the ambience. Lesco. Oh, that well-known supermarket. Do they have Do they have Lescos in uh, in Austria? If they did, that's uh, that's something I didn't know. Uh, excuse me, give way to the, the cars on the roundabout, or buses, the vehicles on the roundabout, thank you. There we go. Must be bin day in, uh, oh it's black bin day, it was yellow bin day in Linz. It's black bin day in uh, St, whatchamacallit, St Polton. It's probably not pronounced Polton. But whenever I call it that, I always think of Poulton the Filed near Blackpool. I imagine St. Poulton is probably much nicer. I don't know what it is, I, ju I just get that sneaking suspicion, you know how you do. Yep, yeah, that's a giveaway sign, Mr. Truck. Though, uh, the road, the rules of the road don't appear to apply to anybody else in this, uh, this game, only me. There we go, right. Full steam ahead. On the home stretch. Stop. Falsch. Oh, right, okay. Falsch. Don't go that way. No entry. Wow, that's even better. So, a, a, a no entry sign in a hand. With a stop. Falsch. Oh, I hope that's how they do it on the roads here. That would be brilliant. This, that's like one step up. A no entry sign on steroids, isn't it? Right, 80 over the bridge. And by the looks of things on the minimap, we're on Route 1. Route 8. I don't know if Route... No, Route's American, isn't it? Goodness only knows. I can hear geese. I hear geese squawking. 
I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to go up to 100 anytime soon and there's going to be no road signs. Although, to be fair, this might be a road sign. Maybe I just ignored it earlier, maybe I didn't see it. Ah, there you go. Okay, fair dues. I'll let the game off this time. Come on, full steam ahead up the hill. You can do it. Pulling in here. I don't like being in the overtaking lane. I don't in real life, to be honest with you, because, I mean, you can be on the motorway. I mean, I tend to do 75 when I'm driving on the motorway. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? But I tend to find if you, if you do 70, you end up just getting stuck in, like, a kind of mass of cars. You know, like, cars tend to bunch up and kind of move as a mass. You always get little bunches of cars, don't you? And between the cars, there's always this gap with no cars in. And I find if you get do 70, you get stuck in these little bundles of cars. So I tend to do 72, 73, up to 75. Never do faster than 75, because that's, that's illegal. Not that 71 to 75 isn't. But um, you can't get caught by speed camera for doing that. But, in all seriousness, it, it just gives you, you know, you move slightly faster than these little pockets of cars. They're all bumbling around, you know the sort, they're just, you know, they've got no purpose in life, they've got nowhere to be, they're just, oh, let's go drive on the motorway and annoy everybody, um, which they do to very successfully. Um, but yeah, they, so I find that you kind of get past them, you know, you, you move ever so slightly faster than them. But even if you sat doing 75 in the fast lane, or the overtaking lane, you always tend to find there's someone in a Range Rover behind you flashing the lights and kind of tailgating you and you're like well you know I'm, I'm already doing a little bit faster than the speed limit already you know I'm overtaking these cars please just just have a little bit of patience you know and uh, so I, I prefer being over this way I feel less pressured even though I know I'm, I'm in the right being in that lane you know I've got I pay my road tax I've got every entitlement to be in that lane I just kind of feel like I'm annoying everybody and you know I'm slowing them down even though they're speeding. I don't quite know what's happening with the light in it. It's kind of flashing as we're going along, isn't it? Oh, hang on, away. we're slowing down. Now, it appears that the motorway is just ending and turning into a dual carriageway. Oh, oh, we're in Vienna. Ah, lovely. I wonder if we'll, uh, yeah, it looks exactly like uh, Vienna on Tram Sim. I mean, it's practically like which game are we playing? I'm confused. I really don't know what's happening with the light in here. It's rather confusing. Hold on, why why can't we? Why are we going all the way around there? We can just turn right here. It doesn't say it. Like, it even says forward or right. What's the point in going around there then? That was a red light, Mr. Lexus. Oh look, he's on his phone. Oh, they actually move. I'd never noticed that the passengers actually move and type on their phones. And now he's put his phone away. That's brilliant. I like that. You intrigue me, sir. It's worthy of a photo, isn't it? You can never have too many. Right again. So this is the bus station. This actually looks like quite a bus station, doesn't it? Right, so where do we actually go on stand? Round there, by the looks of things. 
Surely the, the speed limit in the bus station is not 100 kilometres an hour. I mean, it would be a very efficient bus station if it was, wouldn't it? But I just can't see that happening. No, we'll, we'll come right round and in here. There we go. I reckon it's this one. Is it so free? We're too early. Well, stop moaning. You know, enjoy it. Enjoy being early. This is where they say, oh, if the railway could take a leaf out of Flixbus's book. A mm, bit of product placement there indeed. Ah, oh, it's worthy of another photo, isn't it? Love a good photo. There we go. That is from Salzburg to Vienna on the Austrian DLC. There is a link to this DLC in the description if you fancy checking it out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have enjoyed it, then please do of, do of course, do of course, click that like button. It's always appreciated. And of course, if you are enjoying Firm Bus Coach Simulator, there is going to be more. I mean, we're going to have to go from Vienna down to Graz and back up to Salzburg. And of course, we've got the, uh, the Swiss section to do as well down to Geneva. So make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already, so you never miss out on any of that. Like I say, thanks so much for watching, and I shall hopefully see you next time. Cheerio, goodbye for now.